Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well, we've got a great one for you today and this will work on any WordPress site, not just Divi theme. Few people have been asking lately, when I go to a new page, I have a bit of unstyled content that flashes up first before the CSS kicks in and then the style content. How can I get around that? Well, that could be several issues. It could be you've got slow hosting. It could be the person that's looking at it has a bad internet connection. But either way, sometimes it's not nice to see that sort of thing. Now there's a bit of code out there on the Elegance theme site. I couldn't actually find it today that you can put on your site. It's a bit of JavaScript, I believe, that's supposed to stop that. I haven't had a lot of luck with that. So an alternative is to add a little preloader. If you're not sure what a preloader is, if I switch pages now, you'll see a little flash of my logo come up before the next page loads. And there it is right there. And again, if I change pages, you'll see it flash up again. And that's a nice little alternative. We've done it with several of our clients and they really like it. So to do this today, we've got to add a plugin. It's absolutely free. There's no cost involved whatsoever. I'm going to go down. I'm going to disable the plugin that I'm using here. If I go down on my plugins, there it is right there. Safe layout, cute preloader. Let's get rid of it. Great, the plugin's been deleted. Now if I actually go back to this page, we go to that images page again. You may have seen a little flash there. I'm on localhost here, so it's not really fast. If I go back to the home page, there was just a little white flash there. As I say, it's not too bad on this particular site, but let's add a little preloader. Really easy to do. I'm gonna go back to the plugins. I'm gonna go up to here where it says add plugin. We're actually using the Divi4 theme on this site, but like I say, this will work for any WordPress theme. I'm just gonna type in preloader, P-R-E-L-O-A-D-E-R. -E -E and here they are, and the one I've used today is this one right here, absolutely free, like I say. I'm gonna hit install now. And I'm gonna go ahead and activate it. And there we are. You can just click on the settings. I think when you first install it, it takes you straight to the settings page when you activate it. But if not, you can go to your plugins and just hit settings right here. And here we are, I'll take you through these. So let's see what it does by default. Let's just refresh this page. As you can see, it's not very long. There was a loader there. It looked like a cube and a progress bar. Like I say, this site's not too bad, but we can go in to change it to whatever we want. I'm going to be using my little logo there today. So if you look at the display settings here, we want it enabled, obviously. Full website, or you can choose pages or posts, whatever you want to, show on all devices. Minimum load time, in other words, it's not gonna show if it takes less than half a second. You can change that if you want to, it seems to work for me. And maximum load time is how long it's gonna stay on the screen. If there's a problem with the site and it's just not loading the page, it'll stay for, stay for nine seconds, and after this time, It'll hide even if the page has not been loaded yet. If you want to disable that, put in a zero. And if it's continue up there again, you can choose to show a close button after a certain period of time. I haven't actually had that problem yet on this site, but that's an option for you. And you can add a background if you want to. Progress bar, we saw that briefly. It was this one right here. I think the color was red. I don't want a progress bar on mine. But as you can see, there's several to choose from here. Brand image, this is what I want. So I'm gonna say show brand image. I'm gonna to go to my media library. There it is, right there. Now you can't use too big of an image, it'll throw up an error. Mine's 400 by 109, which is fine for my purposes. I'm gonna go ahead and select that image. And there are several animations to choose from. That's very subtle. One I'm actually going to use today is Sheet. But have a look because they've got some crazy ones there. I'm going to go ahead down to Sheet right here. That's the one I used before. I quite like that one. Image position's fine where it is. I don't want to add a margin. It seemed to be absolutely perfect where we are. Now, I'm going to go on down to icon because it's still going to chuck in an icon unless you select no icon. 
and there's several interesting icons to choose from here and it even lets you download your own custom from here obviously we've got this one going on which is that one selected I don't want an icon all I want is my logo counter same thing I don't want a counter telling you how many percentage until the page actually loads text no nope, don't need a loading text and in the special preloader you can add a meta box to do different types of preloaders and use a short code there just generate it copy it put it on the pages you actually want it now like I say this is absolutely free I haven't even looked at the pro features I've just always used the free version because it's so good once you set everything up the way you want it make sure you save your changes let's go back to our site now and we'll re-refresh and it's not this it just so happens I'm using the same logo here so the preloader logo kind of looks like it's dropping into this one that's just coincidence it's just doing that swirl so let's do a refresh excellent like I say that works quite well with that logo right there if we change to a different page there it is right there I quite like that I think I've got a big landing page on this site that may take a little longer to load so let's try that one did hang around for a little bit longer that time if we go back I've got no menu on this page this was just a landing page we did in one of our videos so there we have it let's go back to the home page and we got that nice little preloader so I hope that answers that question like I say absolutely free safe layout cute preloader nothing to it it's very lightweight and customers seem to like it so there we have it guys there's how to add a little preloader to your Divi site or any WordPress site like I say this is a WordPress plugin so it'll work on pretty much any theme you want there so like I say I hope that's answered that question don't forget if you have any questions about Divi 4 or Divi 5 drop them down below the video I'll do my best to answer them or make a little demo video just like this one so once again this has been Jamie from system 22 and webdesignandtechtips.com thanks for watching have a great day